the last day of the challenge. So I saved the eighth limb of Ashtanga Yoga for tonight. So it's Samadhi. So Samadhi, it means absorption. So basically these limbs, the way they work, you know, sometimes they're called stages, but they're more interacting with each other. So we've got the yamas, which is, you know, short form is how we are behaving in the world, to the outer world, to others. The niyamas, how I'm behaving internally, my inner world. Asana, it's postures. Pranayama is our breathing techniques, concentrating on the breath, any kind of thing like this. And then um, Pratyahara, which is bringing the senses inwards, disconnecting somehow ourselves from the, the senses that are pulling us outwards. Dharana, which is concentration. So learning to focus on one thing at a time. Dhyana is when our concentration becomes more steady, where we're usually concentration, we're concentrating and our mind kind of leaves whatever we're concentrating on and then we have to keep pulling it back. And meditation, it becomes a little more steady. And then samadhi, where there's no difference between you and the object of meditation. So we feel like our self and whatever, if it's a mantra or you know, you're gazing at something outwardly, whatever it is, we feel at one with it. So that's samadhi. And I think we actually all experience little mini samadhis in our life. If you reflect upon it, I'm sure you'll come up with some times where you've been so concentrated on something whether it's uh, listening to some music, making music, making art. You get so immersed, so absorbed that even if somebody called out your name, you wouldn't, you wouldn't hear them because you're just completely absorbed in that artwork or that music, whatever your focus is. Sometimes it can happen in yoga asana as well. And bring the palms together. And we'll chant Om Shanti. Om Shanti.